Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening. Are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. What about you? What about you guys? How are you doing? Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining. Hi, Mariana. Hi, Kenya Kandrai. Hello, Rene. Hello, Lester. Welcome to the class. Let's see. So, guys, today is session number number uh, eleven, right? Session number eleven, and tomorrow that's going to be session number twelve. Okay, meaning that you will have to, we will have to cover four more classes, and you will be, or four more sessions, and you will be finishing your module, well, your intermediate module, intermediate module module one right so that's something cool right because actually you're moving you know uh, from one level to another one and you're doing good you're doing good today is october 28th and what we're going to do today is to um you know still continue with some of the uh, vocabulary that we will um, be working with right and hi carlita hello carla are you there Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlita. I was laughing. I, I, right now, I'm seeing. Let's see. <laughs> I, I was seeing your message. You, you know what? The thing is that I have a class from from eight to nine. For another. And we were talking uh -huh. about that. In in the, and all of a sudden, I got a lot of messages popping. Up. <laughs> Pero de los mismos chicos de de de, de ocho nueve, right? Okay. And, I, and I thought Carlita yeah. said. Uh, and I was asking <laughs> in the class, you, Carlita, who is Carlita? Where are you? Well, because I thought it was from that class. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Carlita. But yes. <laughs> eh, sí, chicos, algunos me comentan <laughs> que han recibido ese mensaje, ¿verdad? De que mire, que, que adelante, ¿verdad? Que parece que no les ha, no aparece como el progreso, digámoslo así, de sus actividades. Ahí lo que les recomiendo hacer es escríbanles. Eh, ah, ok, perfecto, ¿verdad? Me podría decir qué es lo que, cómo le aparece a usted? Porque a mí me aparece así y manden un screenshot, manden un screenshot del de progreso que ustedes tienen en la plataforma, ¿ok? Para que no tengan, pues, este, para que probablemente ellos actualicen, ¿verdad? Si de repente la información no está actualizada, pues, ellos lo van a hacer, no se preocupen. Igual, ¿verdad? Eh, es, está genial que nos estén recordando, que estén ahí pendientes de nosotros para hacer, ¿verdad? Ese tipo de cosas. Así que, este, please. Go ahead and, and, and let them know. Si de repente recibió ese mensaje, dígale, mire, aquí está el screenshot. Este es mi progreso. No sé cómo le aparece a usted, ¿verdad? Para que podamos confirmar y, y rectificar ahí, ¿verdad? Cuál es el, el, digamos, la información que probablemente a ellos no les aparece. ¿Ok? So, guys, again, as I was saying before, this is class session 11, October 28th. Eh, me gustaría eh, preguntar, porque no sé si ustedes tendrán alguna como duda, alguna pregunta al respecto de lo que hemos hecho, ¿verdad? ¿Algo, ¿Alguna duda de, de la plataforma? ¿Alguno de ustedes? Ajá, ¿de la plataforma? ¿Nadie, chicos? ¿Estamos súper hiper mega genial? <laughs> sorry, Carlita, perdón, perdón. I was checking your message, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, guys, anyone who has a question with the platform? No, verdad. En el caso de ustedes, pues me imagino que la mayoría ya está acostumbrado a, a ver este los, a trabajar en la plataforma, right? Me imagino que ya, ya tienen quizás el ratito, verdad, de estar con la plataforma. But if you don't, igual si no, verdad, avísenme con mucho gusto. Now, guys, um, what I would like you to do is to check the vocabulary, okay? Because there are some, um, I sent you some pictures with vocabulary words, okay? So I don't know if you can go ahead and access to them right now. Go right now, and I would like to check with you vocabulary, right, uh, that I send you. It is about, let's see. Where are you? Intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. Okay. Okay, I sent you vocabulary about food, right? And also about a, about cooking verbs, okay? So as you could see in the, in section number four, right? It advises you to uh, learn a little bit, um, a little bit about cooking verbs, okay? 
sorry. And why? Because you're going to talk about a you're going to talk about processes, right? On how to make or how to prepare a recipe, for example. <clears throat> sorry, guys. Uh, how to prepare a recipe, for example, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the at the at the vocabulary words, right? I have one of those. Let's see. I think it's this one. Let me check. Okay. So here we have some. This is one of the pictures that I sent. So please go to the chat. Verdad, vayan al chat. So we can go ahead and we can go ahead and and take a look at it. Okay. Bye, chicos. So we got the verb great. Okay. Vamos a la primera picture. Okay. Go to the first picture. We got the verb great, and I'm going to. I'm going to start here right now. Porque si no hemos visto vocabulario, chicos. We need to check vocabulary. Wait. Mm, sorry, para. No sé quién envió algo, but estoy viendo the pictures. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Exactly those. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So I'm going to have the picture with me and now let's go ahead and check the vocabulary but here in the presentation very good so um these are very useful verbs guys okay um you need to know them right especially if you like cooking if you like cooking that's gonna be good so you have great okay great you have also grill right you have also layer a level, melt, oops, pinch, pour, scramble, oops, scramble, serve, simmer, slice, spread, steer, Taste, give me one more. Taste, a eh, add, bake, blend, boil, oops, boil, bread, broil, chop, cut. Deep and fried, okay? So take a look at the list of uh, some of the cooking verbs, okay? Some of the cooking verbs. Question is, do you have, uh, do you have questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? Mm -hmm. Questions, guys, about the vocabulary words? What about great? Can you describe can you describe that cooking bird for me? Great. What is that? Loop. What is great? Can someone explain? Uh-huh. Gratinar. Great. Gratinar. Okay. Take a look at the picture. Take a look at the picture. Is that gratinar, do you think? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Vamos a ver el chat. Alguien está escribiendo. Let's see. Rayar, dice Kenia Candra. Yes, actually, that's the action, right? Take a look at the picture. Okay, they are. They have like an example there, right? So that is great, right? When you start, you know, um, a grating, it could be cheese, right? Grated cheese or queso rallado, verdad? That's great. Rayar, okay. Uh, what about what about grill? Well, grill it's very, a very common verb, right? Grill, right? What would be the equivalent in Spanish of grill? Grill? Or you can you can type it in the chat. Si no si no quieren hablar en asar. El... Asar, okay, asar, very good. What about layer? What is layer? What is layer, teacher? Mm -hmm. What about layer? 
Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a scramble and bland when we talk in Spanish? Okay. Okay, revueltos y licuado. <laughs> That, Mariana. For example, cuando usted hace huevos, huevos este revueltos son scrambled eggs. I prepared scrambled eggs this morning. I prepared scrambled eggs this morning, right? So that's going to be, uh, you're welcome. And then blend, right? You blend the beans, ¿verdad? In the blender. Licúa los frijoles ahí en la, en la licuadora. You blend the, the beans in the blender, right? Very good. Excellent. So, what about, well, layer, layer, guys. Es, es cuando ponemos capa sobre capa. In Spanish, we say capeado, right? So, you layer. For example, in my case, I love, I love layering um, eggplants. Me encanta la berenjena, right? So, I prepare, you know, um, eggplants in that way. I put layer over layer and cheese, a lot of cheese, right? And also scallions and pepper and cilantro etc right so i really like that with mashed potato or uh puré de papas right so it's delicious okay what about what about level what is level teacher take a look at the picture vea la foto right take a look at the picture level mm -hmm. what is level anyone level or in the Maybe. chat if you want Medir, very good, right? So it's like when you are like making sure that you're using the right amount, right? Como equilibrar la cantidad que va a utilizar, right? Very good. Yeah, yes, medir. Okay, so what about, what about pinch? What is that pinch? What is pinch? Mm -hmm. Veamos el chat. Pizca, yes, that's pinch of salt, right? Pinch, right? Aplicar una pizca, right? The soup needs a pinch of salt, right? Very good. Excellent. Okay, so what about the next one? What about poor? What is poor? Uh-huh. Someone? Poor. What is poor? Verter, ah, vertir, ah, verter. Muy bien, Carlita. Yes, it's true, right? So you pour the coffee in the cup. You pour the coffee in the in the cup, right? Or in the mug. Okay, very good. And scramble, we already said, right? Scramble, right? Revolver, that's a scramble. Okay. Serve, right? When you put the food on the on the plate and then you take it to the table. That's to serve. Okay. Then you got Simmer. What is simmer, guys? That's very common in El Salvador. Simmer. What is simmer? Hervir. Yes, but simmer is el famoso cocer a fuego lento. Eso es simmer. Okay. Have you seen your moms? Have you heard? I'm sorry, your moms, verdad? Cuando ella dice, no, es que hay, eso se pone a fuego lento para que no se cocine arrebatado, decía mi abuela, ¿ok? So that simmer, right? Cocer a fuego lento o hervir a fuego lento. Eso es simmer, ¿ok? Very good. What about slice? ¿Ok? Well, a slice is, you know, when you take your knife, right, and you just start cutting, you know, things in the slides, right? For example, bread, right? You get slides of bread or slice of tomato, slice of onions you slice the onion right you cut it and then we have spread right for example when you're preparing a sandwich you add some sandwich spread as the sandwich spread and the verb spread is when you take you know the for example mayonnaise right you take the mayonnaise on the um slice of bread and you start spreading right spread that's a spread okay so well an equivalent Es, es la es podría ser como rebanar o algo así. Yeah, exactly. Sí. That's why. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then we got um, spread, right, which is, uh, ¿cómo diríamos en español? Untar. Untar, thank you very much. I was thinking, of, was what is spread, okay? Untar, thank you very much. Then you have steer. What is the meaning of steer, guys? Steer. Steer. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, Mariana? Steer, right? When you steer things, you start 
moving, ¿verdad? Mover, ¿ok? You stir the sauce, right? You stir the soup, right? For example. Then you got taste, right? When you are preparing something, you always taste, right? So you need to know if, if you need more ingredients or if you need to add more salt, right? Or if you need to um, change something in the recipe, right? So that's uh, taste. Yeah, probar, muy bien, Kenny, very good. Uh, then we got uh, add, right? Add, yes, Kenny, degustar, probar, muy bien. So then you got add, right? When you put more, that's add, put more, very good. Uh, then you got bake, right? For example, when you want to make a cake, you need to bake it right first. So you put it in the oven and you bake it. And then blend, right? Blend is como batir, licuar, verdad? Eso es blend. Uh, boil, right? For example, if you want to drink coffee, first you need to boil the water because you need hot water, right? So you boil the water and then you pour it in the mug or in the cup and you stir it right with the coffee, okay? Then also, uh, you got bread. Teacher, pero bread es pan, okay? Do you know what is bread as a verb? Bread. Mm -hmm. Someone? Empanizar. Empanizar, okay, yes. Actually, you can go ahead and do that, right? Like uh, empanizar, right? And, um, but I also, I remember there was another meaning, wait. Um, no, I think that's the only one, right? Let me see, let me check. Burr, 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 burr. Yes, you are right, empanizar. Empanizar, that's true. Thank you very much. So that's bread. And then you got broil. Broil, what is broil, guys? Do you remember? Broil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, actually, uh, there is a famous uh, chicken here in El Salvador, right? It's rostizado, right? Como a la parrilla o como asar a la parrilla. Eso es broil, right? Como más lento, más lento. Lleva una cocción más lenta, right? Let me reset the pronunciation. Broil, yes, broil. And then you got chop, right? When you start cutting all the ingredients, you chop them, right? You chop them in little squares, right? Little pieces, right? Then you have cut, right? Deep, what is deep? Let's see, deep, deep. Mm -hmm. Deep. Someone, no one, okay. Deep es como sumergir, pero también deep es como un aderezo, una salsa, eso es un deep también. Eh, pero como verbo es eh, sumergir, ¿verdad? O hundir. For example, when you're eating nachos, right? Sometimes you, de you, you, you want to eat it with dips, right? So you just put it inside, right? And, and then you cover your nacho, right, with a sauce or with a deep, right, that's deep. And then you got fry, right, you fry, freír, right, very good. Wait, I got something in the chat here. Yep, very good, excellent, guys. So that was a little bit about the vocabulary, right, that I, that I shared with you before, and I'm glad that I can see that most of you have already, um, oops, let me see, have already, reviewed that vocabulary, okay? So yesterday we we stopped here and we were talking a little bit about a sequence words or sequence uh, adverbs, right? And we're going to use them in just a moment. Let me close this. It says, this is like a recipe, guys. It's like a recipe, okay? And you see there, it says three tablespoons of peanut butter. So we're talking about ingredients. One banana, mashed. What is the meaning of mashed? Well, when you cut it and you just do something like this, right? You mashed it, right? La hace puré. Two slices of bread, two tablespoons of butter, and it has to be melted, right? 
Now, mm, tablespoon, the difference. Let's go ahead and see the difference between uh, tablespoon, oops, sorry, tablespoon and teaspoon, right? Difference. I will show you the difference between those two um, spoons, right? Because in when you're when you're reading recipes, right? When you're reading recipes, generally they say uh, tablespoons or teaspoons, right? So of course, tablespoon is going to be bigger than teaspoon. But I'm going to show you an example, okay? I'm going to show you an example. Give me one moment. Because it, it's a big difference. Hay una gran diferencia, okay? Wait. Here it is. I'm going to share the picture with you. And probably I will put it in. Aquí en Simita se la vamos a poner. Wait. Solo para que vean la diferencia. This is the difference between tablespoon and teaspoon. Ven ahí. Look. Esta grande, this is the tablespoon, right? And the smaller one, this is the teaspoon, right? So tablespoon are the ones that, you know, it holds, right? A higher quantity of liquids or salt or sugar, right, than the teaspoon, right? So this is the tablespoon and this is the teaspoon, okay? So as you can see, they are different. We're going to put it Oops, sorry. La iba a dejar por acá. Okay. Very good. Aquí que se quede en una esquinita. Okay. So, excellent. Now, guys, take a look at the pictures, okay? We're going to organize them, okay? <clears throat> We're going to organize them. So, what do you think is the first step? Take a look. What do you think is the first step? It says, first, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together, okay? So first, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Give me one moment. Sorry, guys. Okay, so what do you think is the first picture? Si están en su computadora, pueden activar el, el escribir, ¿verdad? Usted puede venir y puede escribir en la pantalla. Si tienen la opción, if you have the option. Kai, si me escriban en el chat, no sé por qué, pero hoy me está costando abrirlo. The fourth picture, ok. No tienen ustedes la opción. Ajá, cabal, very good. Ahí está alguien usando la, la opción, ¿verdad? So, exactly. This one, right? This is the first step. It says, first mix, right? Mix the peanut butter and the mashed banana, right? The mashed banana together, ok. What about number two? Then... Lightly toast the slices of bread. Then lightly toast the slices of bread. So what picture is the one that you think is um, represents step number two? Okay, very good. So that's gonna be this one, right? So uh, this is going to be number one, right? And very good, ahí están escribiendo algunos, muy bien. This is going to be number two, right? So it says then it's likely toasted slices of bread. Next, okay, vean las palabras, los conectores, ¿verdad? Tenemos first, tenemos then, and now we have next. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. That is step number three, right? Step number three, very good. Step number three, excellent. After that, miren, after that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. So, what do you think? Which picture represents that? It says, after that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Mm, no, actually, if you see, oh yeah, yeah, number four, you're right. Sí, porque aquí no está, no está todavía como doradito, ¿verdad? Very good. And finally, finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Okay, exactly. That's going to be number 
five, okay? Good job, excellent guys, okay? So, uh, but what I want you to, I mean, what I want to highlight, I would say, are these, okay? So take a look at these words. ¿Se acuerdan cómo le llamamos ayer? Do you remember cómo se llamaban? ¿Cómo se llama esto? First, then, next, after that, and finally. So, how do we call them? Very good. They are sequenced adverbs, right? And guys, we need them a lot, right? They are very, very useful. Muy, muy útiles, right? Why, teacher? Because every time that I'm explaining a process, that I'm saying something, that I'm telling a story, that I'm describing sort of events, I need to have a sequence. I need them to be coherent, right? Coherentes, right? Que lleven una secuencia. So that then is when I need uh, the sequence adverbs, okay? I need them because otherwise my, my ideas wouldn't be organized, right? Es bien difícil ya de por sí organizar a veces nuestras ideas y pues para nuestro in, interlocutor creo que sería eh, más difícil aún si yo no, no, le, no le doy una secuencia de ideas, ¿verdad? Entonces, we have to use them, right? We have to use them, we have to um, apply them, right? Whenever we're describing a situation, whenever we're, we are describing a, a process, right? Very good. So, questions so far, guys? Questions so far? No questions? Give me one moment, ahí está. Let's see. <clears throat> no, teacher, dice Mariana. Well, very good, excellent. So guys, this is an example on how you can go ahead and, um, how can I say? You can go ahead and um, talk or describe how to prepare your favorite recipe, because actually that's what I want you to do today. So here we have another example, sequence albers, okay? So it says first, mix the peanut butter and banana together, okay? It's the same thing, right? Then toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the mixture on the toast. After that, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. And finally, fry the sandwich until it's browned on both sides. Bien grasoso se oye, but it sounds delicious too, right? Very good. Okay, guys. So what I, what I want you to do is the following. I want you to think right now about your favorite recipe, okay? Now, if you want, take a look at the pictures. Go to the vocabulary words, okay? Go to the vocabulary, go to the chat, okay? Let's see. Also, there are, there, there is, I'm sorry, uh, there is vocabulary about food, right? Vocabulary about food. You can go ahead and check it right now. There also you have vocabulary about foods and drinks and also um, tools and items. Tools and items, you see? There you have a lot of uh, vocabulary words. But what I want you to do right now is to think about your favorite recipe. Quiero que me cuente usando este ejemplo. No quiero que venga y me, me dé un gran ejemplo, no. Based on this example, así como este ejemplo, chicos, I want you to go ahead and give me examples, but with your own recipes, okay? So, um, if you want, I'm going to show a picture. Dígame, teacher, yo quiero hablar, or I want to um, talk about this recipe, y yo le busco una picture ahorita, ¿verdad? Así que, let's go ahead and uh, work on that. Let's see, uh, Omar, Omar. What's the recipe you would like to talk about? Omar, are you there? Well, it seems he's not available. Uh, what about you, Lester? What is your favorite recipe? I mean, what would be your favorite dish? De que, que gustaría describir? It could be anything, don't worry. But related to food, right? Mm, sandwiches. Okay, sandwich, very good. Okay, sandwich. Very good. What about you, Mariana? Mm, maybe lasagna. <laughs> okay, oh, really? Yes. Lasagna, okay. Rene, what about you? Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Maybe uh, 
Noodles? No, noodles, okay? Noodles. Uh, what about you, Carlita? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know yet? No. What about you? Can you can try? Macarrones. <laughs> okay, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Very good. What about you, Monica? Monica, are you here? Um, yes. Hi. Uh, for me, it would be a uh, uh, Dalgona coffee. I'm sorry? Uh, it's a coffee. Uh, a cup of a coffee. coffee called... Yes. Okay. What about you, Kenia Acevedo? Okay. Um, I like coffee. I don't know. Is it coffee? Pero ya lo tengo. Ya tengo a cup of coffee. Yes, it's okay. I will send. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, You're not sure yet. Rice? Rice, okay, good. Fry rice? Rice, no problem. Dígame, Mariana, ¿cuál sería? Mariana. ¿Cuál sería? Sorry, can be a dessert, teacher. Dessert, uh -huh. which one? Brownie. Huh? Brownie. Brownie. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Very good. What about you, Brian? Burritos. Burrito, okay, very good. What about you, Tani? Tani. Are you here? Pupusas. Pupusas, okay, very good. Very good. So guys, just use the example. Take a look at the example, and I'm going to give you right now five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Just uh, remember, first, then, next, after that, and finally. Vean el ejemplo, está bien, bien cortito, bien, bien, bien así, bien sencillito, pero está muy, muy, muy bien hecho, right? So what I want you to do is to think about it. Okay, piense ahorita, escriba, right now, and use the vocabulary that, that I have shared with you. You have five minutes, okay? Five minutes to write down your ideas, and then you're going to share with the class. Go ahead.
Let me know when you're ready, okay? Oi, guys, que está um pouquinho... It started to rain. Okay, when you're ready, please let me know. Teacher, I'm ready, right? And if you want uh, to be a volunteer, you can go ahead and raise your hand, right? Say, teacher, I want to pass. Okay, two more minutes, guys, two more minutes. Okay, so let me start with you. Let's see. Let's start with the sandwich, okay? I think it was Lester, right? Lester. Dígame, Carla. Okay. Um, okay, that's what I have. Um, to prepare my sandwich, uh, first I need to slice, to slice tomato cheese uh pickles and let lettuce lettuce okay lettuce okay then i lightly fry a slice of ham next i spread mayonnaise 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 to yes the, mayonnaise to the bread uh-huh and after that uh, i layer all the ingredients and that's all. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. And you use the sequence adverbs, okay? And actually that's uh, that's a good way to prepare a sandwich when you fry the ham, right? I, I, um, I don't eat ham, but I remember I used to eat a lot of ham in the past and, and it was like that, okay? So thank you very much, Lester. What about the next person? Brownies, who said brownie? Brownies. Me teacher, but I've not finished yet. Oh, okay. What because, about yes? <laughs> because I I want to use well, I only made pre-made mixed brownies. <laughs> no, but it's okay. So you use a mixture. Usa una mezcla. Yes. A mixture. No, but don't worry, it's okay. 
the supermarket next to <laughs> Yes, yes. No, me too. I mean, I bake cakes, but I mean, the mixture from the supermarket, right? Okay. okay. <laughs> no, no problem. Go ahead. Well, I'm not finished yet. I don't you know haven't it. finished, okay? So what about noodles? Candy or noodles? Me. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, first, we take a lot of big baits and then we in the boil water. Mm -hmm. Next, we take it when uh, next we take it when we we'll soft, soft. After a sauce or in the soup, and it's it's ready to eat. Okay, very good. So, what about the vegetables? What about all the things? Noodles. You don't add vegetables to the noodles. Uh, um, yes, uh, but um, la hice de forma general porque solamente teníamos cinco minutos. Oh, no, no, it's okay, don't worry, okay? Yeah, but actually noodles, remember, ahí nos explicó cómo cocerlos, eh, los fideos, right? Porque los noodles no son los mismos que los espaguetis, right? Son los fideos, right? So, and yeah, and but then you can prepare it, ¿verdad? Usted decide cómo prepararlo ya cuando ya están, este... Ya cuando ya están uh, cocidos, ya uno decide cómo hacerlos, ¿ok? Very good. Who said pasta? Pasta. Who said pasta? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, first, I split, the, I split them in half and add to water and salt. Then I put them to boil. Ok. Uh, next, I removed most of the water, leaving only a little. Finally, I add tomato sauce, okay, cheese, and cream. That's all. Very good. It sounds it sounds delicious, actually. Very good. Thank you. What about what about the cup of coffee? Tell us how do you prepare the cup of coffee? It's a uh... It's a different type of coffee. It's oh, not about really? normal coffee. It's uh, Dalgona coffee. It's a recipe that became famous on social network during the quarantine. <laughs> and I like it. Really? Like it. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know. What's the name of it? I'm sorry. Dalgona coffee. Dal Dal Can you type it in the chat? Please? Dalgona. Yes. yes. Please. Thank you. Right now. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Okay, so you you can explain, and I'll try to find out so for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, first, I boil a half a cup of water, then I mix equal proportions of instant coffee, instant coffee, mm -hmm. sugar, and the hot water. And next, I whisk up the the mixture until. A foam, a foam is formed, mm -hmm. and finally, uh, it serves that over hot milk. Oh, it's okay. Really easy to, to make. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, That's actually, it. actually, I've heard, I've heard. The, I mean, the you know that frost uh, thing, right? Like uh, uh, foam, it's like a foam. You know that you put on the uh, on the top, right? But actually, it, it looks yeah. delicious. It looks delicious. Okay. It is. Oh, really? <laughs> very good. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay. Thank you very much. What about what about this? What about rice? How do you prepare rice? How do you prepare rice? King me dijo rice. I, I am. Okay, me uh, teacher, okay. me. <laughs> me teacher. Very uh, good. Sorry, the ingredients we need are rice, oil, water, vegetables like carrot, green pepper, onion, and corn. Okay. You need a lot of a lot of ingredients. <laughs> yes. Pear, 
uh, put the fry pan with oil on the stove. Then chop vegetable after, after that wash vegetables and rice, fry and mix for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Next, add enough water and salt to your taste. Then boil and cover the pan. Cook for 15 minutes and finally taste and serve. Okay, very good. Very quick and very easy, right? Yeah, my, my daughter loves rice, guys. Oh my goodness. Por ella creo yo que era arroz, almuerzo y cena. Perdón, desayuno, almuerzo y cena. But anyways, okay? But yeah, actually it's, it's delicious, right? Especially if it is white, white rice, okay? Thank you. What about, what about burritos? What about burritos? First, get the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Get tortillas, beans, chopped chicken, and meat. Mm -hmm. Parmesan cheese, guacamole, and pico de gallo, known in this country as chimol or chirmol. Yes. Then spread the beans all over the tortilla, add guacamole and the pico de gallo. Then add the chopped chicken and meat and melt all the ingredients in the tortilla. Next, add the Parmesan cheese, and if you want, Add another type of cheese. The after roll up the tortilla with all the ingredients to make a solid burrito. Put it to fry a little time just to seal. Then serve finally serve it with some jalapenos, green sauce, and with your favorite drink. Okay, very good. Ya nos a todos, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Brian. Dígame, Carla. Can I say my recipe? Al final, después de esa viene la suya. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. the, the picture comes after this one because you said chicken salad, right? Yes. Bye. Ahorita, después, eh, who said pupusas? Hello, who said pupusas? Hello. Hi. Me, teacher. Hello, but Danny. I, 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 I don't finish. You haven't finished. Oh, okay, no problem. No, so, Carlita, no. yours is next. Go ahead, Carlita. Okay. Um, how to prepare salad of chicken? Chicken salad. Uh, uh, chicken salad. Sorry. The first one. Uh, we have the ingredient. Uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, chicken, cheese, cucumber, and raisin. Raisin, I think. Raisins. Pasta. Raisin. Okay. Raisins. Mm -hmm. Raisin. Okay. Ah, no, no. Sorry, sorry. You said dressing, right? Dressing. Uh, aderezo. Dressing. Eh, aderezo. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Dressing. Okay. And a bowl. Well, uh, first, uh, cook the lettuce and all the vegetable but you need to put on in the bowl. And after that, um, put and mix all the ingredients, the tomato, the chicken, and cheese. And after that, grate the carrot. And finally, um, dressing, uh, spread the dressing. dressing. Spread the dressing, okay. Spread the dressing and serve uh, on the plate. On the plate. Okay. Or well in a bowl, I think, right? And and it's in a bowl. In un plato hondo in a bowl. Very good. Uh, Excellent. Bowl. Yeah. Good job, Carlita. Okay, Danny, are you ready? What about the brownies? What about the brownies? I'm ready, teacher. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Mariana. Okay. Um the ingredients are pre made brownie mix two eggs and butter. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, okay, first put the pre-made brownie mix in a bowl, mm -hmm. then add two eggs and chocolate chips. Next, scramble with the butter. After that, pour the mix in a baking container and mm -hmm. finally take it to the oven. <laughs> okay, very good, and 
Then you let it rest, ¿verdad? You let it rest or you let it cool, right? Oh, let yes. it let it rest es como dejarlo reposar and let it cool es dejarlo That's enfriar. Ahí está. Oops, perdón. Cool, cool. Let it cool, dejarlo enfriar. So you let it rest, you let it cool, and then you cut it, right, into several pieces, right? Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. Le mandé a Carlita. I'm sorry, Carlita. It was for everyone. You let it, oops, you let, uh, let it rest or let it cool. ¿verdad? Lo dejamos reposar o lo dejamos enfriar, right? Excellent. Danny, are you ready with the pupusa recipe? Or no yet? Todavía no. No yet, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Si no se puede hoy, mañana es el primero que va a pasar, Dani. <laughs> ok, ok. Bye, ok. And the rest, if you want to participate tomorrow, you can bring another example. But good job, everyone. Good job. As you can see, when we talk about recipes, it's very, very easy, right? And, and I hope that the vocabulary about uh, cooking verbs, uh, food and drinks vocabulary helps you, right? So uh, before I continue, guys, do you have any questions with the platform? I'm asking again, if you have any questions with the platform. No questions. No. Not yet. Okay. So listen, uh, it's raining here. It's raining a lot. Okay. So let me move on through the pictures. Okay. So we were saying, guys, um, that sequence adverbs are important not only not only to talk about food not only to talk about recipes but also to talk about processes right for example um, if I want to explain someone right how to turn on the computer okay first you have to go to the CPU right next push or press the uh, the button to turn it on right after that turn on the monitor right okay and finally enter your username and password and click on enter right so you can turn on the computer you can use the computer etc right or teacher how 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 can you print a word document ah, okay first you go to the icon right the file icon then you click on print print option on your left left uh, side corner, right? After that, oops, it is thinking, está pensando. After that, you, well, or next, verdad? Next, you click on the icon uh, where you can see the printer, where it says print, okay? Uh, after that, you select if you want it in color or if you want it in, in uh, black and white. And finally, you click on send or print, print now, right? And then you get the document, et cetera, right? So, or for example, I can use it when I'm talking about past, because actually we were talking about simple past and past perfect, right? So you can say, uh, you can describe a situation. Hey, and what happened to you yesterday? Oh, the thing is that, you know, uh, my car was stolen. And, and how, how did it happen? Oh, well, first, I parked the car in front of the store, right in front of a store. Then I, you know, went into the store and I bought some medicine. Next, I went, um, I went uh, to pay, you know, I, I, I gave the money to the cashier and she gave me my change, right? After that, I went out of the store and finally, when I was out of the store, I found out that my car was not there. It was stolen, right? So you're given a sequence of events. You're given a sequence of a process. You're given a sequence of steps when you prepare a recipe, okay? And that's the way how we use them. Uh, that's why I was saying, guys, you don't use sequence adverbs just to explain, right, how to prepare a recipe. No, you use them to explain an event, a sequence of events, a sequence of steps, right? Or, for example, at work, when you are helping your customers, cuando atendemos a nuestros clientes, cuando atendemos a las personas en la oficina, etc., right? So we need to follow uh, steps or, um, or we need to explain processes sometimes. So, see? Es the first, el que dice first, should always come at the beginning. 
should always, always come at the beginning. Finally, should always, always, always come at the end. ¿Verdad? Sabemos que con first yo empiezo, yo abro el proceso o los steps. Y finally, I am finishing with that, with that set of steps. Y luego dice, then, next, and after that are interchangeable. They are interchangeable. What does that mean, teacher? That they can have a different order. For example, I can say, first, mix the peanut butter and banana together. After that, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture of the toast. Next, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Finally, fry the sandwich until it's browned on both sides, okay? So that's what it means. They are interchangeable. Again, first always comes at the beginning, finally always comes at the end. And these three, then, next, and after that are interchangeable, okay? So, and also, um, well, the thing is that, I want to say this, I mean, it's not only that you use them when you're speaking, but also they are very useful when you're writing, right? For example, uh, you have to write a report, right? You have to type a complaint, or you have to prepare, um, you know, a case, un caso, right? A case with a customer. Ah, what happened to the customer? And then you start following the sequence of events, okay? So that's about sequence albers. Do you have questions about vocabulary, uh, food vocabulary, food and drinks vocabulary, or cooking verbs? Questions, guys? Preguntas? Questions? No, teacher. Not yet. Okay, very good. I just now. want to say I am hungry yeah. now. You're hungry now, yeah. <laughs> Me too. You know what? I, are, I already had dinner. I had dinner very early, like at 5.30, right? But uh, then after seeing the pictures, I felt not only hungry, but also willing to cook something delicious. But, you know, it's late already. So probably I, 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 will, I, will, I will keep, right? I would save those energies for tomorrow, right? Or that energy for tomorrow, right? So yeah, actually uh, it was it was good guys to talk a little bit about food. I'm glad that uh, most of you participated. If you want to bring your examples for tomorrow, you can go ahead and do that, no problem. Uh, what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to be uh, just closing section four, meaning that we're going to have a review on the you know grammar uh, points that we have discussed and probably we're going to you know implement the vocabulary that um, you know it's hasn't been mentioned but we're going to include it tomorrow okay so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to let you go I would like to thank you right for being in the class and remember if you have questions about the platform let me know okay or write down your doubts and I can clarify them by tomorrow okay so thank you very much for joining guys have a good night take care and I'll see you tomorrow okay good night teacher good night thank you. good night good night, good night everyone see you bye -bye. Bye -bye. take care night, everyone. night